Okay, over at NKU, we got Kevin Chappelle, and uh, Kevin, you played here, and now you're on staff, right? Yes, sir. I played here for, uh, I redshirted my freshman year. I played here for four years, and then I uh, went to West Virginia, worked out there for Coach Huggs for three years, and then just finished my first season back here at NKU. And uh, how, how was the, uh, how does it feel to be back at your alma mater, you know, oh, wearing where the suit and tie and all Cincinnati's that? Cincinnati's home for me. You know, this is always my home, and, you know, everybody in Northern Kentucky is like a big family, so. You know, Coach B brought me back here, and I'm happy to be home. I love being back here on the, on the sidelines helping them out. They've always done a really good job here getting a lot of the area kids, Ohio and Kentucky and Indiana, whoever, you know, sure. getting some kids that maybe could go somewhere else and, and build a pretty good program here. For sure. We signed five local kids this year from Cincinnati and then another high school kid from Dover. And uh, it's, it's nice because there's a great basketball in Cincinnati. I grew up playing high school basketball in Cincinnati, so, you know, it makes it easier to recruit here when you know a lot of the high school coaches. and. You know, it's nice to be able to get some guys to stay close to home. Their town is. And you were kind of the prototypical NKU player, the, the <laughs> dude that could shoot it. Yeah, I always shot the ball real well. I worked on it a lot growing up. And, you know, NKU, like the system we play, Coach Bees loves guys that can shoot the ball. They're very skilled and can shoot the ball. So it was a good fit for me to come here. So now, it's good to find guys that can do that. Now, at, at Loveland, uh, do you remember your stats at all? I mean, I'm sure you were double figures. <laughs> What, three, four years I there? started varsity for four years. And, yeah, well, that's uh, a rarity. Yeah, yeah. I think I averaged double figures my freshman, sophomore, and junior, and senior years. Do, I mean, do you remember uh, any of those games in those big games? I do. Any, I remember, any really crazy I remember, games that you had? I remember pretty much a lot of those games. The most memorable game I had the flu. It was when we played Anderson. I scored 41 against um, Carl Richburg, who's in the gym right now. and He was guarding me. I scored 41. And Coach Beats is at the game. And I think they offered me right after that game. I was yeah. a junior. Now, I went to Anderson, and you're, you're hurting me now. <laughs> and and you did the same thing here, though. You it, you know you were able to put the ball in the hole. Yeah, well, luckily I, I played behind some good players as a freshman, sophomore, and worked on my game. Didn't get frustrated, stuck with it. And then my junior year, I was all conference and continued that as a senior and played real well in my last two years here. Uh, the NKU teams, I I would I still do go to Dev Rose, and and every now and then you'll see a, a team of, of kids from NKU, and then a team at the other end shooting layups and one team will look so much bigger and so much more athletic and they kind of look down at the little Norse guys and they think we got this one in the bag and the next thing you know the NKU guys guys like you uh, are, are firing the ball yeah, in the and, guys and, we uh, have you know very... guys like Kelsey are just killing them yeah our guys are you know we played against the one thing about the Devers League that's nice is we can play as a team our whole team's allowed to enter since we're still Division Two, so we're allowed to enter as a team. And our guys go out there, they know each other, how they play, and we all shoot the ball well, and there's not a lot of defense played over there. So you can, if you get an open shot, our guys should be able to knock down 40% or better from the three-point line. Well, that's the bottom line, teamwork <laughs> and, and shooting, uh -huh. and sometimes that's overlooked. Yeah, if you can shoot the ball and pass the ball, you can play anywhere, I think. And so, so uh, how about West Virginia? Pretty good experience there? It was there. a great experience. Coach Huggs is one of the best coaches in the country. He doesn't get enough credit for, you know, how good of a coach he is. A lot of people think he just brings in players, but, you know, he, he's one of the smartest people I know, one of the best coaches I've ever seen. And, you know, being around him for three years really helped me uh, learn a lot from him. And as smart as a guy he is, I learned a lot from him. Yeah, he's a little bit more than a temper tantrum. No, he's a lot more than that. <laughs> he can coach ball, and he's one of the best out there, I'd say. And uh, so back with B's old now, and this is second second year in, and, yeah. and you're you're again scouring the area for guys like you, <laughs> trying to find good players, the best ones, so we can keep winning games and try to win a championship here. All right, well, good to catch up to you. Oh, Sorry to bring you, you outside and oh, make you sweat like that. Oh, it's all sweat now here. It's 80, yeah. 90 degrees yeah. out here. Yeah, we'll make you work for these, these <laughs> interviews here. Oh, thank you, Kevin Chappelle.